Hey guys, uh, welcome to the tutorial once again. Today we will be looking at how easy it is to school an email in the phishing attack. Lots of people fall victim to this kind of attack. Let's see how it works and how we can protect ourselves from this kind of attack. Email spoofing. It is a technique used in spam and phishing attacks to trick users into taking a message came from a person or entity they know or they trust. So now let's look at how it works. Here is a site that makes it extremely easy for somebody or anybody to be anybody they want. So for instance, if someone wants to spoof your email, this site here can help them spoof your email easily and then take advantage of that to trick your friends or your family members into thinking the email is actually originated from you. So this is how it works. So this is how it works. So let's say I work with a friend in a company and uh, the attacker who is trying to, you know, fish me or uh, hack me knows that I work with this friend in the same company. So what they're going to do is that they're going to use the name of the, uh, of the, of my friend that I trust to open this email. Anytime I see his email, because I know he's my friend, right? So, so example, if I have a friend by the name, say, Daniel Jones, and then they're going to use uh, a spoof email. This is nothing but a spoof email. So they're going to say, uh, let's say they know uh, my friend's email address to be, say, Daniel Jones at gmail.com. So they're going to use this email. Right? This is the spoof email that they're going to use because they know I know his name, I know the, na the, uh, the email address. But then again, this is not going to be the email that, you know, uh, uh, I mean, they don't have access to this email. They're just spoofing this email at this point. All right, so they're going to send it to me knowing my email address. So All right, so they're going to send it to me and then this reply to is where they're actually going to put the real email. So when I'm replying to, you know, this email, thinking I'm, I'm replying to, say, Daniel Jones at gmail.com, I'm actually replying to this fake email here, right? Or, I mean, this uh, uh, attacker's email here, right? So if I put the, uh, say, mysticman at gmail.com, let's assume this is the email of the attacker. Right. So whenever Daniel or whenever I reply, thinking that I'm replying to Daniel Jones, this email is going to go to mysticman at gmail.com. Right. All right. So here you can put an email where where you're going to track, you know, whenever the person opens up the email, you can track it. So this email is actually going to be you can use the same email as the one that you want the replies to go to or you can leave it blank, you know. So. I'm going to use uh, a catchy subject like HR, say HR promotion, uh, say uh, HR really promotion. All right. And then I'm going to use uh, a nice, nicely crafted email. So very simple email. Good morning, Camille. Hey, uh, check out this link I stumbled upon this morning. You will be surprised who were promoted this year. Man, I can't believe this, right? So this is gonna be like a catchy. You just want somebody to click on the, the link that you you know you you send to them, right? So you're gonna make it lo look like you know um, you you're trying to prey on the uh, uh, curiosity. This is this is this is how the email is gonna look like, right? But then again, I just want to point out something before we move forward, right? So you see how this uh, link is. This is gonna be a malicious link. When you click on this link, right, it's going to take you, it's going to create a backdoor to your machine or take you to some malicious website where they can, you know, sniff whatever you're doing or they can steal your, you know, credentials, what have you. They can do whatever they want, right? So that's why it's very dangerous to be clicking on links, you know, um, if you're not very sure, you know. So, you know, think always think twice before you click on that link, whatever, even if you know the email. So you, now you know that this email can easily, uh, emails can easily be spoofed. 
So when you see this kind of link, you know, uh, you know, before you click, you have uh, your friends or whoever is sending you this email, you have a phone number, you know, just text him, hey, did you send me something to click? You know, just do your due diligence and then, you know, second guess yourself. And then before you start clicking on links in an email, this site that I want to point out to you guys. So here is called the one fichier.com. This is actually uh, an upload, a file upload at a sharing site. So you can create your, you know, uh, the attacker can actually create a malware or uh, a virus with some of the tools on Kali Linux, like, you know, the Empire Project, the Villavision, the Backdrag, or what have you. They can create a backdoor, uh, a malicious file, or malicious uh, malware, and then they can upload it to this site. You know, so let's assume that, you know, we created a malware or a virus that we intend to send to our victims. So you go here on this site, you can actually, because you want to be able to upload it somewhere where you can easily share it to a lot of people. And this is the site that actually do that for you, right? So you click on uh, this site here and then you can actually choose, see where it says um, uh, uh, HR record that back. So this is a... Uh, uh, an example of how a virus can be or a malware can be. So you click on that and then you upload it to this site. You know, you click on send. So this is going to process this file for you and it's going to give you a download link. So you see this link here? This is what you can share to multiple people. And then once they click it, they can have access to this file. And if it is a, if it is a virus or a bad malware or, you know, malicious file, they can actually infest their computers, you know, as you do this, right? All right. So once you upload this file here, you can actually copy this. You can copy this link here and go to this site here. This is also another site that you can actually shorten your URL or modify it to make it look more legit, right? Because if someone sees this kind of uh, file here, you know, they might be suspicious. What kind of file is this or what kind of URL is this, right? It's, it looks a bit suspicious. But you can go to this site here and then you can paste your link here, right? And then you can actually modify it and then how you want it to look like. So here I can just do what HR records, right? And then you can just say, I'm not a robot. So you just verify yourself and then you can click on the, the shorten. So you're gonna shorten that URL and this is gonna be your shortening URL. And this is what you're gonna copy. And then you can send it with your, and then you see, this is exactly what I have here. So be mindful, you know, it's easy to do these kind of things. You know, there's this website here, that's a file sharing, upload and sharing where you can upload the malicious file or the malicious uh, uh, you know, uh, link you, you want to send to multiple people in a phishing attack. You can click, you can, you know, use, uh, they have multi, we have multiple of these sites. And this is one of the sites, you know, onefishier.com. And then you can, after you have your, you know, download link, you can go here and do the bit that, uh, the bit that do, and then you can uh, paste your, URL here that looks more scary to shorten it and then add something that is more, you know, something that is more believable so that you can believe this easily, right? All right, so this is what we have here. And then when I click on send, this email is going to be sent to me. All right, so you see this email has been sent. So now we can see um, the email has been you know, sends to my inbox. So if I just click on the email, I saw my friend's name, I saw his email, you know, there's nothing that's gonna make me doubt that this email is actually coming from, an, uh, from a bad person or from an attacker, hacker or from a hacker, right? When I open the email, you know, there's nothing that's gonna make me think that this is not coming from my friend because I'm seeing his name, I'm seeing his email address and I believe that this is actually coming from him. So I'll be more tempted to click on the link and then that's it, game over, right? So always be mindful. Whenever you see, you know, emails coming in, even if they bear the name of someone you know, you trust, 
and then there's a link for you to click. Always, always, always do your due diligence and call or text the person and say, hey, did you send me some link to click? What is it about? You know, just just get a, a that second, you know, a second guess yourself before you start clicking on the link. Because you see how easy it is for somebody to actually spoof an email for, for it to look more legit. And then, you know, us being, you know, not thinking that something bad is going to happen. And then right away we click on the link and then that's it. We're done, right? So always be mindful before you click on any link that is to you. All right, guys, uh, that's it. This is going to be a very short video. Be mindful of any link that is sent to you on the email. Even if you know the person's name, you you know you know the email address. It's always always very important to pick up your phone and give the person a call or a text message just so just to verify that okay, hey, did you send me this link for me to click? If the person says yes, feel free. You go ahead. You can click it. If not, stay away from clicking all of these links that are being sent to your email. They are very dangerous. They can easily create a backdoor on your computer, and then that's it. The rest will be history. Be very, very careful with this link. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you do like this uh, video, please give us a like. You know, it really helps the algorithm, the YouTube algorithm. When you like it, it goes far. Well. Give us a like, a thumbs up, and then subscribe to the channel for more video like this. All right, thanks. Talk to you guys uh, in the next video. Oh, 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 oh,